a lot of our clients, mortgage servicers in particular, um, have a lot of issues with litigation. And in the various stages of foreclosures, uh, perhaps there's some things that uh, both the client can do or even the firm that can kind of help with litigation down the road. Um, is there something that uh, perhaps our clients would like to hear or maybe some help um, that we can give them as far as how to avoid uh, either senseless or non-needed litigation you know, in the future of their cases? Definitely. I mean, one thing that just out, jumps out at me is just having a really good record keeping process and just being really aware training wise of what your records and procedure process is for all your policies. For instance, the boarding process in litigation becomes a big issue. Um, how your lost note affidavits are prepared after a lost note search, things like that. Just having intimate knowledge of what your company is already doing um, in order to service their loans when it gets to the litigation stage, as long as all of that is notated, it really helps. Yeah, Mark, on the first legal side, you, you prepare a lot and the, and the title will work up. And even before the complaint gets filed, I mean, what is what are some of the key issues that we can prevent even on that stage uh, to kind of help with litigation in the future? Well, where I think it starts is that uh, myself and other attorneys in our unit have done trials. So we know the issues that are going to come up. Uh, we know what to look for. And I think that helps. I, I feel that if things get too compartmentalized sometimes in this industry where you have one person just doing one specific thing, when you're able to have people that have a more complete and full knowledge base, uh, that's where it starts as far as identifying issues. Right. And so by, by doing that ahead of time, obviously, we, we help with litigation expenses on the back end. Is that right? Definitely. And then so, so uh, outside of the litigation portion, um, there are some uh, just general communication uh, you know, tips that we can give our clients as far as loss mitigation um, and, and the interdepartmental issues that they have. So when, it, when a loan is uh, in, in loss mitigation, how does that affect a foreclosure and what should the mortgage servicer be doing uh, in, in those scenarios? Well, I think if it's in litigation, just the more communication between the foreclosure litigation team and the loss mitigation teams and making sure that that's also related to the attorneys is the biggest help. As long as everyone's on the same page, it really helps us to be able to make sure that we're not only advocating for our clients appropriately, but that we're also in compliance with any regulatory guidelines that might be out there that could affect litigation. Um, a good example is if something's pending and you know opposing counsel's reaching out wanting to stay a case, we'd be able to be informed on what that actually needs to look like. 